hello traders it's samurai trader here in today's session I want to briefly cover trading floor pivots and when not to trade against floor pivots I ran a Q&A session for members last week and I've received 10 to 15 emails just asking if I could give some more examples of floor pivot trades or the potential trades around the floor pivot areas now floor pivots are of course are applicable if you trade stocks Forex or futures now in today's video I'm just going to look at a few trading opportunities on Forex and the and the futures market understanding the risk I need to show this by law so uh, if you haven't read one of my risk disclaimers please ensure you perhaps pause the video and read the disclaimer now everything I'm about to cover is uh, covered comprehensively in the day traders fast track program my training program uh, please visit my website perhaps after you watch your recording request my free ebook the truth about day trading and further information about the day traders fast track program so let's get straight into this because I want to just keep this under 10 minutes today so there's lots of different types of pivots or floor pivots you got the standard floor trader pivots you got Woody's pivots you got the mark pivots Fibonacci pivots all sorts of open high low and close and different variations so it can become confusing but virtually every modern charting package has standard floor pivots in them so that's what I want to really focus on in this session so floor pivots are calculated in advance so floor pivots are, are a really important level of support and resistance and it's very very important that you plot them on your charts as as you're about to see when I head towards a floor pivot I want to make sure if I'm about to enter into a trade that I've got room for my trade to move because time and time again not always but the majority of time you'll get a bounce around the floor pivot area so let's have a look at uh, a couple of opportunities or a couple of examples from today and I want to explain a couple of things uh, which will really enhance your trading now if you don't have a, uh, a pen and paper handy you may want to write some of this down because it's very very important because it can dramatic, dramatically improve the health of your trading account if you understand this so first of all it's Monday the 25th of the 7th 2016 so we we're trading the Globex market here so this is uh, the we're looking at an ES chart this is a 233 tick chart uh, it is uh, very early morning in the USA Monday morning and we're looking at a 233 volume chart here now this blue line you can see up here is one of the pivots so you'll get different floor pivots plot automatically depends on the charting package you've got and as I mentioned floor pivots can vary a little so we can see a pivot down here and we can see our pivot here so this is the open of the market this morning at 9 a.m. actually sorry 8 a.m. Monday morning Australian time and of course for our standard members you can see here we've had some um, uh, t25 34b You've got your t20 uh, your t20-1 t25 so you've got your classic trading opportunities but looking at our pivot bounces we can see here that price has gone up and we've had a perfect pivot bounce here this morning now where I get really excited with pivot bounces being the PB as I've marked it up is when I have divergence so we can see here we were within two ticks of bouncing on the pivot we've come down gone up and we've had a perfect bounce and we've actually got divergence on our platinum down here so that was perfect now then if we go and look at our higher time frame and let me just pull this over here for you let me just do one quick thing here it's turned itself off so let's just have a look at this here and I'll just pull this down as well actually let's expand it so we can see on our higher time frame here that we also had a pivot bounce well naturally because pivots are calculated the same but I really love it when I see um, divergence on at least one of my time frames so what we've got this is our higher time frame so this is a 700 share bar we can see we've gone up but what we've also got here is our t3 setup 
so let's now go back to the height to the entry chart so we can see here we've had a t3 we've got um, price accelerating away from the trigger line it's come back bounced up and then we had a perfect uh, not only a, a great divergence trade here but then we had a t20 straight after so just a, a textbook perfect trade for us to take on our entry chart but let's then see what happened later on in the day so we've gone down here and look at this here so further on just very recently of course we've come down and have, you've had exactly the same setup on your higher time frame but look at the acceleration once again away from the trigger line perfect uh, pivot bounce and if you looked at the higher time frame you would have noticed also we had a nice t3 there as well we can see then price accelerated again away from the trigger line with uh, within one tick of a pivot bounce again and then price dropped so you can just see here if you're a hunter or you're really focused or, or have what I call a sniper um, uh, mentality looking for these there's some great opportunities in trading but likewise we've got to be very cautious of course around pivots is if you had have gone to enter a trade here you would have seen you would have been stopped out so this is where you always want to check out where your pivots are so I've just ducked across now we're going to have a look at the euro dollar this is a three range and so if we look at price action uh, here this is uh, last week late last week we can see we've come in and you'll see this quite often you'll, you'll punch through by three or four pips then you've got your pivot bounce and if we just go back a little further whoops just accelerate a bit too far back okay you've got the pivot bounce but but look at this here I've gone up you've punched through now you've got a pivot bounce to the downside punched up you bounce on the pivot uh, to the downside again look at this again we've come down we've bounced on the pivot once again so once again that was the three range on the euro dollar now what we're looking at here is the es 550 tick and this is from friday last week we can see here we've punched through the pivot but if we just go back a little whoops <laughs> you've just got to really watch this it can really bounce around when i play with this here we go okay so we can see here we've gone up uh we've got a of course our classic uh, um, 89b 34b we go through we come down we bounce up we get some nice divergence we come down we bounce on a pivot and just look at this bouncing around now once again where you've got to be cautious if you've got a trade entry at these sort of points because you can see it has bounced straight off it acts as very very strong support now let's just scroll along here and see what happens okay so we can see here we've come up uh, we've gone through we're within one tick of the floor pivot again we come down we bounce off the floor um, pivot again so you can see here when you've got the t1 plot and this is for members particularly you'd understand what the t1 is and you get a close under the trigger line under our blue line of course away we go so they don't always make money because what can happen is of course you can punch through as you can see but then what we've got at this pivot is uh, a, a lovely double top of t7 uh, and divergence so we really love it when we get those sorts of setups but the point I wanted to make is on this recording is that you really need to learn and understand how floor pivots work because you can see here we've gone through we've got a 34b and away we go and I think we'll probably find we'll be bouncing on some pivots again okay and now remembering this was last Friday and you can see here we've gone up and it's acting as resistance we bounce down we bounce down we bounce down now what we've got then here is of course is what we call a trading range one thing to keep in mind is when you have a trading range the longer the trading range the, the larger it is or over time uh, or candles usually the more violent the breakout and the more extended the move is so let's just have a look here and see what happens we'll keep going okay all right and guess what it wasn't <laughs> all right we had uh, four or five um, uh, what was that that was good for when you finally got your breakout and by the way to confirm a breakout what I look for is at least two candles closing 
above the point and to be safe if you take the first pullback so when you get a breakout here because if you go back um, and you can see here we've just bumbled around uh, here so how do you confirm the breakout well what do you you know false breakouts are something that you see every day you want to see at least two candles close above the breakout and to be safe wait for your first pullback which is there okay so there's your entry and by the way the re <laughs> the reason we didn't get that extended move was we had a that still would have been a nice uh, seven eight tick trade it was Friday afternoon so I was forgetting it was Friday it was the end of a trading day so we saw everyone leveling out their contracts so the point is there is be very careful it's an area you can be really badly chopped up on so getting back to uh, learning more about these um, so members uh, this is for the day traders fast track members I'm going to uh, be covering this in more detail in a Q&A session I'm doing tomorrow so it'll be Tuesday the 26th I'm going to talk more about the pivot bounces we've had a lot of questions asked about pivot bounces and support resistance and of course when you combine the support resistance areas off your anchor chart or off your higher time frames along with your floor pivots you can really see how powerful these areas are for bounces and for trading so traders uh, hopefully you've got some uh, this has really got you thinking and uh, I'll see you on the next video thank you